Welcome back to Simran Today. We're delving into the complexities of international trade and logistics with a focus on Inca terms. Today's video, we're going to unravel the mysteries of Inca terms, those essential tools for navigating international trade. What exactly are Inca terms? Well, think of them as the language of global commerce. These standardized trade terms, established by the International Chamber of Commerce, outline the responsibilities, risks, and costs between buyers and sellers. When it comes to shipping goods worldwide, let's kick things off with the XW, or XWorks. Under this term, the seller's obligations end. When they make the goods available at their location, from there, it's all on the buyer to handle the logistics, from loading the goods onto the truck to arranging transport to the final destination. Next up, we have FOB, or free on board, with FOB, the seller's responsibility, extends to delivering the goods onto the vessel. At the specified port of shipment, once the goods are on board, ownership and risk transfer to the buyer. FOB is commonly used in sea freight shipments, offering a clear delineation of responsibilities between buyer and seller. Moving along, we have SIF, or cost, insurance, and freight. Under SIF, the seller not only delivers the goods onto the vessel, but also covers the cost and freight to bring the goods to. The named port of destination, including marine insurance. While CIF may seem buyer-friendly with the seller, handling logistics and insurance, it's essential to note that risk transfers to the buyer once the goods are on board the vessel. DAP, or delivered at place, with DAP, the seller takes on the responsibility of delivering the goods to the buyer at the named destination. Ready for unloading DAP provides buyers with peace of mind as the seller handles logistics right up to the destination. But keep in mind that the risk transfers to the buyer upon arrival. And there you have it, folks, a crash course on Inca terms and their implications in logistics. Remember, choosing the right Inca term is crucial for smooth and successful international trade. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more content, until next time, happy trading.